We're getting close. This tunnel is getting very, very close. We're down to the final parts of rust. Now, today, we're gonna be working on the plenum. So, we've got the whole cow, everything cleaned up. Now, I've spent some time wire wheeling all this and getting it nice. It is definitely a lot nicer using a fresh wire wheel. Gets the job done a lot quicker. I'm gonna chuck some copper over this so I'll be ready to go on. Always remember, safety first, cause your lungs probably don't wanna breathe in all the fumes. All right, so I just finished off priming all of the areas that are gonna get welded. Now we're gonna start prepping the actual cow I borrowed the hole punch again, so got all these holes smashed out, ready to get welded on. Now they've got copper all around the edges that are gonna get welded. I've gotta fix a little section in here that just kept blowing through and I've found another hole after grinding back all those welds. Well, it goes to show that my welding has improved since the last time I did this. We did it, let's grind it back and get back to painting this. I've just finished bare metalling all of the edges on the cow. Took me a while to get through all this. Now, we can't use this coating to protect the metal because as you can see, it's already started to rust where it gets a few scratches. So we're gonna repaint this. While I've been doing that, Dad has been masking up the plenum, getting ready to paint this all up. The plenum is all painted up. It's probably not the most ideal environment to be painting, but we do have lots of airflow and we have all the right masks and equipment to be doing this. Peel back all the tape is looking even better. Now, while this is drying, I'm gonna start cutting up the other door so that we can start doing some rust repairs on the inside. With these doors that we have, someone has cut out a section for a speaker and potentially an ashtray in there. So I don't want any of that. My plan to fix that is to reuse another door that had been screwed with, with a chopped cab that mucked it. That's supposed to be that thin. But anyway, this has the sections that I need. So I'm gonna cut this out and smack it in that. Now, before anyone freaks out, this door is absolutely totaled. There's no way it can be repaired. There's rust and fog sitting in this corner. This piece is about the only bit that is usable on this. So yeah, definitely not ruining a good door. After waiting 24 hours for this to cure, we're gonna chuck some copper on all the bare metal edges so then we can get ready to weld it on for good. Damn, look at that cow, eh? We're in the backyard paint shop and we've got this all in copper looking very nice with the black Valspar. All right. Oh. oh shit. All right, we had a touchdown. Wow. All right. It's on the ground. So the car is no longer on jacks. It feels quite weird seeing it like this because it's been over a month since I've seen it this low. I'm going to continue working on the door. I'm not going to finish this off until Daddy's home and I've got all the guards and everything is on properly to line this up. So let's get back to the door. We've gotten the piece that we cut out of the other door that was originally on this side. We are going to modify it so then we can fill in this rusty area and replace it like that. So that is the plan. Now, this is the piece that I have made. Cut it in half and we're gonna try and manipulate it to try and line up with this. Right now it's fitting up all right, but the next problem I'm gonna have 
is making this section. So underneath you can see there's a fair gap that I have to fill. Obviously can't just weld that up. So we're going to have to make this edge. So off the other door, there is this piece. Now it is pretty similar in curve. So if I can use that and bend it around like that, we should be able to use it. So now that I've got those relief cuts, they are gonna help me separate it and bend it around. It is cut up a fair bit, but I've gotten the radius that I need. Now this piece should end up going around there like that. The tricky bit is going to be making this all work. This is how I've got everything sitting at the moment. Pretty rough, but this is sort of the idea on what we wanna be doing with this. Last night, Dad gave me a hand working on this section. I have to admit, it was a pretty tricky task because we've used the whole other side that is just completely different. We had to chop and change everything. So you can see we've made about five pieces. I've still got to make a little bit to go in here to finish it and then we'll rub it all up. We got that smashed out and I'm super grateful that he gave me a hand to get this where it is. I've just finished with this corner. Now I've ground it all back. Just good to get some fresh metal in there and get rid of those speaker and ashtray holes. Really happy to get that out of the way. That is one door ticked off. There is still another to go. So let's check out the other door. The driver's side door is now up on the stand so that we can assess on what is going on. Obviously we've got the speakers, speaker holes that we already knew were there. These doors are pretty heavy and it does make it a bit heavier because these doors are actually not factory HQ doors. These ones are later model which means they have an intrusion bar on the inside rather than the HQ ones didn't. That makes it a lot heavier, but obviously a lot safer. So good idea if you can get your hands on a set of those, they are the more ideal ones. There is a fair bit of rust in this one. So let's have a closer look. I've just taken off all the rubbers off the ends and I've also taken off the mounts. Now you can see there is a big rust hole in there. But luckily enough, we'll be able to use it off the other door that is just over there because that side is good. Also found some more down in this corner and there is also some up in here. So that is going to be a bit of a hard spot to get to because we can't really access it from inside. Other than that, there is a couple little pitting areas. As usual, you'll see on most of them. So I've got to get rid of the speaker, so we'll do the same thing as what we did in the other one. Most of them always rust out in the front corner. On the other one, we are lucky enough to not go this far, but we'll start picking all this off and assess all the damage underneath and see what we have to remake. Okay, so that, as I was expecting to be fully rusted out. Well, the main reason why they can't get to this and why they always rust out is because they have this little section and they just can't access it to put anything on it to protect it. So that's why this always rusts out, but we've already done it once, so it shouldn't be too hard to do it again. Now we can access everything and uh, start fixing it all. We've got the other door that we're gonna use to get the replacements out of. Now, this whole corner and most of this section is way better than the other door, so we're thinking we might just cut it and try and reuse as much of this as we can. But you can see how badly they've hacked into this, so there's no chance we can save this door. I've unpicked most of it and I've cut through most of the areas that need to be cut. Along this section is actually double skinned and you can see through here there's like another dip that goes in like that. So my plan is to actually cut the outside skin and then unpick it from the inside. So let's give that a crack. In this top section there is a fair bit of rust. But luckily enough, off the other door, this piece is mint. So we're just gonna bang that straight into this. Bore it right back up to here to replace all of that because there is some pitting hiding in here. So we've got some pitting in there and obviously the rust. Okay, so right now I've got two pieces that I've taken off the other door that I'm going to be welding into the new door. So let's 
clean them up, get some paint on them, and then we'll weld them in. <laughs> All the areas that are needed to be grown back have been flat. I've left this top corner all welded up just because I can't really access it and it's gonna be covered anyway. But dad has kindly gone into his work and sandblasted this so that that will be able to sit over the top like that or one bit. So that should just make my life a lot easier. So I'm gonna start getting ready to prep this. There are a few rust holes in here you can see have come through. He has also sandblasted the inner piece. In here on this one, there is no lip to get the spot welds to go along. So we're gonna use this section to use that lip. Now this corner isn't as bad as what the other one was, but there is still a fair bit of pitting and rust. So I'm gonna cut all that out and remake it. So still got a lot to do. Just cut out the rust so that I can start putting in the new bit. Now I've also put in this other section, welded that up off the other door. So that is looking mint. I've got this piece in place where I like it. I've had to put this little piece that was off the upper section along here to go there. So that's where I want it. It's gonna be a fair gap to fill in there, but we'll, we'll just have to deal with that. Now I've got this all sitting where I want it. So I'm gonna get some paint on the back and then we can start writing it in. Now I've just gotten that section tacked in place. So now I'm going to cut out that section so we can replace it with the new piece. Now I've just finished painting up all this area in the metal cover. I've finished doing the rush repair in this corner. So that is all done. I've also filled in a little corner that was in there, but now I'll be ready to get this section on. Just finished tacking all of this in so it is Just finished grinding back all the welds and I'll fold over the edge so that is all done. Now we're gonna start working on the outside. Now we've already remade the piece that's ready to go in. I've prepped all the inside of the door so it is all ready to get sealed off. As you can see, I've got copper just on this area because that will be getting welded up, but everything else is all painted up, all in that corner and all protected. I've gone over with rust cover and metal cover just to give it another layer of protection. So now I've got the piece that we're gonna weld in. So let's bang it in. All right, now I've just finished welding in this section, so it's all tacked in place. Now, it was a bit of a mission getting it where it is. Because there is a bend in this corner, getting that where it needs to be was very tricky, but with the MIG, it has sucked it in, so the first attempt we did, it actually flattened it out and it didn't have the roll that we'd made it. It is in place now, so I'm really happy it's all in there. Now, let's weld it up and uh, Make sure not to get too much heat into it. So let's finish welding this up. This is definitely not the way I'd planned it to go. I just spent so much time finishing this door. And then of course, on the last bit of this door, I've warped it a fair bit. So if I get the square, you can see that should be flat like that. So you can just see how much it's actually warped. Now, I thought I'd done the right thing by just doing one tack at a time and cooling it down. 
but it mustn't be the case so yeah it would have been more ideal if i had a tig but anyway i know the mig gets it hot i tried my best but yeah i've just got to learn from this um i've got to try and fix it now so that's another thing that i got to sort out even though it did warp at the end of the day it's not a massive deal it is rust free now i don't have to worry about repairing this anymore the worst comes to worst if i can't repair it i can always cut it out and do it again lucky it's metal if it was wood it would be a different story that's why i like working with steel and welding stuff if i muck up it is a good learning curve so yeah just gonna learn from it and that's the best thing i can do so right now i'm just gonna leave it we can worry about it down the track when we're doing body work now i've already put a bit of primer over this section so that is all protected so now i can basically just walk away from that door and not worry about it now that i'm on school holidays I've got a fair bit of time on my hands and that is going to give me a chance to finish doing this roof and also weld on the scuttle. So we've got some big things coming up. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Make sure to subscribe. You can click the button right here. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.